there's something about the sight of construction equipment at work that brings back memories of summers spent in the sandbox and how a Minnesota company used the power of play to dig the foundation of a global success story. So this was a fire truck my grandma Edith gave me. Almost every nook and cranny of Mitch Elvabach's basement in Waconia. I got this at one of Bud Grant's last garage sales. It's filled with models of his favorite toy. This is my best toy. This is a never out of box 1958 fireman set. He has more than 700 Tonka toys of all shapes and sizes. This was a, a dealer award. So if you sold like so many Tonkas, you could get different awards. But his considerable collection is really a time machine. Just walking in and just seeing all the toys on the wall. This makes me feel young. Elvabach got his first Tonka truck when he was just nine years old. That's the toy that I remember seeing in Gambles, in my Gambles store. So that's the way it looked when I was a kid underneath a tree, and then it turned into that. And growing up in southern Minnesota, he says the toy's local origins hit close to home. The toys made here in Minnesota, and that's the toys that I saw on the shelf as a kid. Those are the things that I was drawn to, and, and then now I just kind of, I like that Minnesota connection as I'm collecting things. A similar collection of Tonka toys is the most popular attraction at the West Tonka Museum. I think we have one of the most diverse collections of Tonka toys uh, in the Midwest, definitely. Last August, the Lake Minnetonka Historical Society expanded the display to help preserve the company's history for future generations. Well, because Tonka was such an important part of uh, the history of Mound, it made sense that we should have uh, part of our museum devoted to uh, to the Tonka toy. Attention boys, Tonka toys are made just for you. Tonka Toys was started in an old schoolhouse as Mound Metalcraft in 1946 by Lynn Baker, Avery Krauts, and Al Tesh. Their first product was a tie rack, but they soon switched to metal toy trucks after miniature versions of a steam shovel and crane they tried out proved popular. They timed it right. They uh, started offering these toys, uh, marketing them to uh, the families that were moving to the suburbs and uh, all the, uh, the children that were being born with the, the baby boom generation starting right after the war. So they had kind of a built-in growing market uh, from the get-go. With a logo featuring the name and waves of nearby Lake Minnetonka, the company went on to produce small-scale versions of everything from pickup trucks and fire engines to Winnebago's and their biggest hit, the Mighty Dump Truck, which continues to be its best seller. We wondered what would happen if an elephant stepped on a Tonka toy. With a reputation for durability and realism, at its peak, Tonka was one of the top toy makers in the world, with 2,000 employees working out of a building a third of a mile long, pumping out 8 million toys a year. They were building more trucks than uh, any of the, uh, the three big car makers at that time. And we had a sign outside in the city, just coming into the city where we were the truck capital of the world. But they were toy trucks. But they were toy trucks, yes. <laughs> In its later years in Minnesota, the company tried to diversify by introducing products like pound puppies and GoBots. But Tonka Toys eventually moved its manufacturing to Texas and Mexico to cut costs. And its headquarters in Minnesota closed after the company was bought by Hasbro in the early 90s. For many years during its uh, tenure here in Mound, it was the, the major employer, not only uh, for Mound and the surrounding community. So we had quite a few people coming into, into the town which meant a lot to the local economy. Do, 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 do. For Elvabach, Tonka Toys left an indelible mark on his childhood, just like the company did on Mound, as one of the most iconic businesses to ever come out of Minnesota. You have to be able to remember your, your past and the kind of things that can just help you think about what it was like when you were younger. Uh, I think everybody needs something like that, something to kind of keep you youthful. And um, you know, Tonka Toys does that for me. For Maury's stories, Maury Glover, Fox 9.